Now for question number seven from the P1, the Pure Mathematics 1 International A-Level Specimen Paper. Um, we have a question about the trig graphs and in part A we're asked to sketch um, the graphs of two, um, two of the trig graphs on the same pair of axes. The axis has been provided for us and the graphs are y equals 2 cosine x and y equals tan x between x values from minus 90 to 360 for both of them. Okay, so let me just, we've got y equals 2 cosine x and y equals tan x. Okay, so y equals y equals 2 times cosine x and y is equal to the tangent of x. Okay, so we've got to sketch these on the pair of axes given to us here. Now, one of the things that we need to be aware of is that, as mentioned on the first page, okay, the instructions, it says use black ink or ballpoint pen. Well, I've been using blue, but um, of course you've got to use black in your exam. Um, if pencil is used for diagrams, sketches or graphs, it must be a dark HB or B pencil. So make sure you take HB or B pencils in because your diagram should be done in pencil. Okay, that will be um, better for you in case you make mistakes. So make sure it's a dark pencil, HB or B. Okay, so now to draw the graph. Now, y equals tan x, okay, I'll do that first because there's, no, um, there's no modification, it's just y equals tan x straight. Now, y equals tan x, if we should know, is uh, something where you have asymptotes. Tan of 90, the tangent of 90 is undefined, okay, you have an asymptote at the tangent of 90 degrees, okay, it's undefined. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw at 90 degrees, an asymptote. And the tangent curve repeats itself every 180 degrees. So that means at minus 90 there will be another asymptote. And 180 more than 90 is 270, there will be another asymptote. Okay. Now, between minus 90 and 90, the tan curve basically hits zero at the origin. One second. It's zero at the origin, okay, and it will have this type of shape. I'm going to do my best with what I have here, my uh, instruments here, but you have to try and make it look good. I've seen one of my students in the January exam of P1 lose marks in his sine curve, and it looked, you know, just slightly uh, pointed and uh, a bit straight, so he lost marks. So try and be careful not to they don't be picky and take marks off. So it looks something like this, the tan curve. It comes like that, and then it goes up. Something like that, okay? I try to do it my best. Don't make it come back down on itself. Okay, I'll try and make, make it a bit neater here. A bit smoother curve. Uh, try not to make uh, double lines. Okay, so let me just try and make it a bit smoother here. That's too straight. That's why it's good to use a pencil. Okay, it has to have some curve to it. And it goes up towards that asymptote. It never touches it. Still, it's slightly out. I've got a, my tools are not that good to use, but I'll try my best now. So something like that would be good. Okay, something like that. And of course, Goes toward, it never touches, it goes closer and closer to the asymptote without actually touching it. Okay, something like that would be okay. And then you repeat that over here. Every 180 degrees it repeats. So again it goes through 0 at 180 and it has that same pattern. Okay, so something like this. I guess I get more time to practice now. Now that's too straight there. So it goes like this, 
You're getting a bit too straight, sorry. Something like that. And then again at one at 360 it reaches zero, but we stop there, so we only have this the initial part which is down here coming up. And we stop there. 360. Okay. Let me just Yeah, okay, that's okay. Not perfect, but it's okay. Alright, so that's y equals tan x. Okay, then we got to draw y equals two times cosine x. Now the, the graph y equals cosine x has its maximum at 1 and its minimum at minus 1. Now, if it's 2 times cosine x, it's the form 2 times f of x. So it's a vertical stretch of factor 2. So its maximum is going to become 2 and its minimum is going to become minus 2. The x values won't be affected. So where it crosses the x axis won't change. So the cosine curve normally goes y equals cosine x starts at 0 at 1. So now it's going to start at 2. Okay, but it goes through the x-axis at 90 degrees and also goes through the x-axis at minus 90 degrees and it comes down and it reaches 180 at minus 1 but this is now it's going to go to minus 2 because it's stretched by a factor of 2 then it comes back down to 0 at 270 and then back to 1 at 360 so it's going to go to 2 at 360 okay and if you forget if you forget you can just simply um, just put cosine, you can even just put, you know, 2 times cosine of minus 90 and see what happens. If you forget what it looks like, although you shouldn't. Okay. Ah, oh, that's in radian mode. I've got a bit worried there. Chain, make sure it's in degree mode. Okay, which is 1. And then you see equals 0 at minus 90. And if you put 0 in you'll see it'll give you two and so on you can do that for all these values so basically this is how it's going to look it's going to go from minus 90 at zero to two at, so minus and from um, at zero at minus 90 at zero will go to two and 90 will go back to zero again at 180 to minus two and so on so follow this this pattern here so let me just draw it here now try and be try and make it curved student lost marks because it was too straight his line his lines were too straight look like mountain kind of tops rather than hills okay so let me just fix that a bit and then up and then around okay so that's about as good as I can do okay try your best to be neat and make it look curved okay the student in the January exam he was drawing the sine curve and he made it look kind of like this it was it was a bit, it was a bit exaggerated it was similar to this where you had these kind of mountain top kind of looks and the lines here were, were not not curved all right rather they were straight okay so that's why he lost a mark for that in that question in the January exam okay so there we have answered part a where we asked to sketch the diagrams of y equals 2 cosine x and y equals tan x. Okay, then part 2, uh, part b says given that n is an element of this, this symbol n here means the real numbers, uh, sorry, the, the integers, the integers. Okay, that means positive or negative whole numbers, the integers, including 0. So deduce in terms of n the number of real solutions of the equation 2 cosine x equals tan x between minus 90 and 360 times n. Okay, so we've got to deduce in terms of n the number of real solutions of the equation minus 90 uh, of 2 cos x equals tan x. Okay, so we've got to start at minus 90 and we've got to continue on and on and on. Alright, we're starting at minus 90 and we continue on forever. Alright, so we can see here um, the solution to a 2 cosine x, which is one of the curves drawn, and y equal, and tan x, when they're equal to each other, is where they're going to intersect. And we can see they intersect at 1, 2, two places, okay, in this region between 0 and 360. Okay, between 0 and 360, they, 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 they intersect in two places. Now, they don't intersect on this side at all, so what we can say is that as 
um, the tan curve repeats every 180 and the cosine curve repeats every 360 okay if we just take 360 all right times um, n okay if we just take uh, the first 360 we see it, 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 they intersect two times okay so between minus 90 and 360 times n okay they're going to intersect two n times okay because there's two times um, that they intersect every 360 degrees okay so between minus 90 and continuing so for example if n was say 3 between minus 90 and 270 they would intersect if n was 2 sorry between 9 minus 90 and, and 720 they would intersect altogether four times okay that just tells you the number of times they will intersect okay two times in every 360 degrees okay there's no intersection in this part at all and then it says tan x equals minus 3 over 2 now we got to draw the line y equals minus 3 over 2 which is minus 1.5 and we're going to see where it intersects the tan curve. So let's do that. Let's draw the line y equals minus 3 over 2, which is minus 1.5, which is going to be down here somewhere. Now we can see that this particular um, graph or this particular line intersects a different number of times. It intersects the tan curve here and here and here. Okay, so there's one, two, three places where it intersects in this range. Okay, so what we've got to think about here is it's going to intersect one time between minus 90 and 0, and then after that it will be two times. So you're going to have the same situation for what's after 0, two n times, but then you've got to add one to that. Okay, because there's one time between minus 90 and 0, you've got to add to it. So it's going to be 2n plus 1. Okay, 2n plus 1 times. It, it will repeat every 360 degrees. So if we take from 0 to 360, that's where it's going to repeat from. So from 0 to 360, you're going to have 2. And then from 360 to 720, you're going to have another 2. And every 360 after that, you're going to have another 2. So it will be 2 times for every 360 degrees. So it's 2n. Then, But you've got the plus 1 from the, uh, from the beginning. Okay, so there we have our answers to this question. Okay, I hope that was quite clear. Thank you.